Hey guys! So instead of doing a 2011 favourites, I decided to do a top favourites series. So I'm going to break it down into categories and do like the top 10 lipsticks, top 10 blushes, top 5 lip liners, top 5 eyeliners, top 5 mascaras, you know, you, you're, you're catching on, right? You know, lip liners, blushes, mascaras, the whole shebang. Because to do it in a 2011 favourites in one video, it would be like a half hour video, 40 minutes, and it would be so speeded through, and it would just be like, here, I like this, 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 this year, and it would be pointless. So I wanted to break it down and be more in depth, and the series was requested last year anyways, and I had been meaning to get around to it, and this just seems like the perfect time to do it. So this is what I am going to do. Anyways, so these are my top 10 lipsticks right here. Um, there's only three high-end ones and two of them are discontinued but I will tell you where you can get them. And I'll start with these. No, these two because they're the most expensive ones. Just to get them out of the way. This first one, which I already have swatched my hand, is YSL's number one in nude beige and it's like a baby pink colour with peach undertones. This is just gorgeous. It goes nice with natural makeup, smoky makeup. It's a really good everyday colour. Um, that's about how much of it I've used. I know that doesn't seem like much but you don't need a lot of this product, it's fairly opaque and it wears for a good few hours. I love it. Um, this other shade is YSL's uh, Rouge Pure in 148, which is definitely more peach. And that's a swatch of it, and that's the lipstick. And this is Lorraine Stanix, one of her favourites. Um, she made this really, really popular about a year and a half ago, and that's when I bought it. And again, this lasts a good hour or so, maybe two hours, depending if you haven't eaten or drinking really. But I love it. Um, this one is a pure colour, long lasting lipstick in rose tea, and that's what it looks like. This is like sample packaging, it came with a gift of purchase, yes it is pretty mangled because it melted and I had to stick it in the fridge for like a month. Um, this is just a really nice mulberry colour. If you have really dark skin tones, like if you're like ebony, this would probably be a nice my lips but better colour maybe. I'm not sure. But it is freaking pretty. I wore this a lot this time last year and I may again this year, who knows. But yeah, that's rose tea. we have the first discontinued lipstick. This I found in TK Maxx so you might find one in yours. This is Rimmel's True Vintage. You can find this on eBay pretty readily at the moment because it's not long been discontinued. And that's what it looks like there. It's like burnt plum colour really really pretty just wear this with a bit of contouring and light eyeshadow really beautiful and it sort of stains the lips so if you're wearing it while you're eating it just kind of like I'll show you like it fades to about that color which is really pretty
The next discontinued shade is this, which I adore. This is Strawberry Suede by Revlon. Again, you can find this on eBay. I've ordered a couple of backups, which just arrived this week. So happy. It is the most perfect orangey, bright poppy red. I love this. I wore this so much during the spring. This is like an instant mood enhancing lipstick. It's also a matte formula, so it's very long wearing. You don't have to wear a lip liner with it, but I would definitely make sure your lips are soft, um, like not cracked or anything, because it will show up quite badly with this. Um, what I like to do with this lipstick is like, I'll go to work and wear a lip like this, and then at the end of work, I'll just slap this on and I'll be like, Yay, I'm free and instantly happy. That's what this lipstick does for me. Another Revlon colour is another matte as well. This is Revlon's Really Red. And this is a red I think everybody, everybody needs to own this red. This isn't discontinued so far, but you never know because Revlon are like coming out with lots of new things and with new things coming in old things go away so I would check this out as soon as you can just in case and it's just a really nice deep blue toned red as far as like drugstore lipsticks go you don't get a wide selection of blue toned reds and I definitely think this one's a winner The last Revlon lipstick. Can you tell I like Revlon? This one again is a baby pink. This is definitely a more blue toned pink. Again is a matte. This is pink pout. And I only have like this much left of it. When you compare it to like, um, compare it to like really red. I wear this one quite a lot. Um, but then I've had the pink pout a lot longer too. This is just a really nice blue toned pink. It makes your teeth look a bit brighter, it makes your face brighter. It's just so pretty. And again, I think this would look really nice on different skin tones. Um, like when you're pale like me, it's nice, it's subtle. If you were darker, it'd be like a loud mouth kind of pink. But either way, it's gorgeous. have a Barry Am colour which I love during the summer. When that collection came out by MAC this was my version of Candy Yum Yum. Can't remember what the collection was called but this is 145 by Barry Am and that's what it looks like. So whilst everyone was going on about Candy Yum Yum I kind of dug this colour out and I was happy with it. This is the perfect summer colour um especially like if you're like in your kind of grungy boho this messy beachy waves a scraggy maxi dress with like a caftan over the top and loads of smudgy brown and black eyeliner with a bronze going on gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i wore this to work a lot this summer as well so pretty I want to wear it now, but no, it won't go. <laughs> and my last favourite is Tropical Temptation. No, it's not. Tell a freaking lie. Tropical Temptation is a nail polish. It looks exactly like this lipstick, though. Um, this is Tangerine Touch by number seven. Made famous by Daisy Nation. If you don't know who Daisy Nation is, you need to check our channel. Leave a link in the info box. Daisy Nation is awesome. She has fabulous, fabulous taste in everything. If she likes it, I run out and look at it and see if I like it too. And that's what Tangerine Touch looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous coral. 
and it's supposed to be a dupe for Max Toxic Tail, which I never got a chance to look at. Um, they also have one in the next shade along called Gay Geranium that I won't have a look at. Cami loves Kiwi likes that one. So yeah. Hey guys, I'll save the pictures for the lipstick video and I totally forgot to mention number 10. So this is a number 10. It's Rich by 17. What was the point of having a top 10 lipstick video if I only mentioned 9 of them, right? So yeah. Number 10 is Rich by 17. So those are my top 10 lipsticks. I have New Beige by YSL. Tea Rose by YSL, Rose Tea by Estee Lauder, True Vintage, or is it New Vintage? True Vintage, yes. True Vintage by Rimmel, Strawberry Suede by Revlon, Really Red by Revlon, Pink Pout by Revlon, 145 by Barry M, and Tangerine Touch from number 7. Those are my top 10 lipsticks. So if you guys have any video responses, feel free to leave them below and I will check them out because I like watching top 10 videos, it gives me an idea of what to try next. And feel free to comment below any of fa your favourite lipsticks as well. And I just let you guys know that I'm extending the giveaway to next Sunday as well. Um, I believe it's the 22nd next Sunday because I haven't actually been out much this week. Um, I've not really been feeling too good. I think I was coming down with the flu because I'd been off. Like my work, they give us the, um, like because we're a beachfront cafe, uh, the full-time full -time staff automatically get like a week off during Christmas because it's the down season. And I also had excess holidays to take so I got two weeks off over Christmas. Um, it's just been my first full week back and I swear I was coming down with the flu. It was awful. I was just going to work, coming home and just getting me to bed, curling up with a laptop and then falling asleep. So I haven't really been out to get the prizes or the packaging or boxes or anything and I really want to just, you know, when the competition closes, pick the winners and then send out the stuff as soon as possible whereas if I have to wait another week to get all the packaging and stuff, you know, it just takes longer and it's a bit of a hassle so if I get stuff first and then close the competition it's just easier to leave the con- it, it's just easier to leave the giveaway open for another week. So yeah. Um, link will be in the info bar if you haven't already entered and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know what else I was going to say there. I totally lost my thoughts. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I swear I've said that like three times already. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to stop being an idiot now. Bye-bye. <laughs>